Are you feeling that you have too much stuff on your plate or you said yes to too many things? Oh, um, I have been stumbling since I got back from director boot camp because during the excitement, I was like, yes, I want to do this. and Yes, I want to do this. And I'm like, yeah, you and you and you and you and I got you. And then I get back and I'm back to the real world and I have to get my homework done. I'm behind now. I was gone for four days. So it, I'm playing catch up. So I miss some appointments that I promised that I would do. And it makes me feel horrible because I'm trying to cram everything back in and get back into the swing of things because you come back with all this excitement. And this happens for any event or anything. And you get so excited and so gung ho. And you're like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And oh, yeah, let me put that on my list. And then you get back to reality and you have, you know, especially if you have kids, um, I'm in school full time. So I have a lot on my plate. I'm so excited to connect. I'm so excited for that moment of being able to talk about Cincy with people that don't look at me weird. My friends probably get so annoyed with me whenever I talk about Cincy because it is like my joy, my happiness my 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 happy place but you know i had to suck it up and i had to tell him i'm so sorry um i utilize my calendar feature all the time and i have to specifically say i'm putting it on my calendar right now because if i don't do it in that moment i'll put it on my calendar later guys that should be a red flag for you <laughs> If you're my friends, you need to make sure and be like, no, Cassie, you need to do it now. And the reason why is because in the excitement, I forget to check my calendar and I forget to check what's going on. Now, there were some other things that happened whenever I got back. My husband had to put his truck into um, into the shop. There was a couple of things that he needed to get done and he found out that it was actually worse. So it lasted. It's been in there a little bit longer than expected. So, I mean, for me, I have school on two days a week. So I'm like, go ahead and take my car. Well, that also meant that on Friday, I didn't get a chance to do the plans I needed to do because I had my day planned out. I was going to get homework done. I was going to go make, I was going to go drop off the deliveries. Like one of them is a return back to Cincy um, for the, um, the recall on the Sunflower. If you haven't seen that, you need to look it up in the workstation. You should have gotten an email if you purchased it or if your customer purchased it, you need to make sure that you're helping them with that. So I had that and I had something else I needed to ship out to a customer. And then I also needed to go and change out the wax up at the antique shop. So I'm doing it now two days a week because it's such a large area that it, the four cubes only last about four days. So I had a lot of stuff to do and it took me like an hour and a half. And Friday was one of those days. It was like every time I turned around, I was putting out fires. And I think my day started that way. So then whenever I, you know, whenever I get asked, hey, are you ready for the Zoom? And I'm like, oh, crap. I was like, no, I got to run these errands because they close at a certain time. I'll be back as soon as I can. I thought I'd only be gone like 30 minutes. Everything's not far from my house. Well, it took me 25 at one place. It took me 15 at the other place. And it took me only about five minutes at the antique shop to swap out my wax. But I was like, why is it when I'm trying to follow through with all this stuff, I feel like I'm overwhelmed. I feel like every time I turn around, I got an email saying my insurance is going to be canceled. And I'm like, I just sent the payment. How's my insurance getting canceled? Like, what did we do? There's no accidents. There's no tickets. I'm like, what the heck? So I had to call him. It's been an hour on the phone with him. An hour. So this is my, this is during my homework time. And then it was during my Zoom time because I had to call him back. And they still never called me back because I was going to wait on hold. I was on hold for over an hour. And they're like, well, I have to get a supervisor. And I'm like, yes, you do. And then I felt like I was one of those customers, the one that complains all the time, because I try not to complain. But that's how my day was. So there's times that your life is just going to get out of control. And there's times that you feel like you're running behind. You've got to take a moment. You've got to take the consequences of missing this or that. 
you got to take the consequences of not being prepared. You got to take a breath. You got to take a moment. And then you got to reorganize. So I'm doing homework today, but I wanted to come on here because I realized that I haven't even done a training since my last training, which I think was like five days ago. So on my journey, it is it is ups and it's downs. And I also know that this goes with like the cycle of the month. It's I can definitely tell my ups and my downs and my energy. And then I try to push too much out and I'm not getting enough back. So prioritize, organize, make a list. Figure out the priorities in your business. Figure out what is a no, um, oh, I'm going blank. Basically that a non-bargaining, that is not the word. I know it's here somewhere. I have like a hair. Okay. (laughs) Um, It's going to come to me. It'll come to me after I get off of here. I really have a hair that's coming down. My hair's coming down. Hold on. I just licked my fingers. That's just how it is right now. Um, Non-negotiable. You have to know what your non-negotiables are and you have to know what is flexible that you can move around and you have to know what is going to just fit in where it can get in. So that kind of thing, you kind of need to have a running list, a flow, a list that can flow and make sure you're using something to keep your appointments. I've started using my calendar on my phone because I used to use planners. I loved them, but they, they weren't with me all the time because they were big. I got the Cincy ca- the planners. It was great. I could sit down and I could write all this stuff out and I could kind of go in my head, oh, I got to make sure I talk about this. And I got to make sure I talk about that. But then when I'm out and about, then I can't remember what I'm supposed to do or what I'm supposed to talk about because I wasn't putting it on my phone. So now everything goes on my phone. Everything goes on my phone. My phone is with me all the time. I don't ever leave my phone. It is with me. I take it with me everywhere. So I can jump on my calendar. I know where it's at. I color code things as much as I can because if it's Cincy, it's going to be purple. If it's my personal stuff, it's going to be hot pink. If it's my daughter's stuff, depending on which daughter, it's going to be a green and a different shade of green because I have two different daughters. Um, And then I have my husband and that's the blue. So he's got blue. I got pink. We just kind of, you know, we're just trying to get my life organized. And my office is a mess. Being gone for four days. I had my office clean and I was starting to organize and then I had shipments come in and you feel overwhelmed. Start with the small stuff. Start with one thing. Get it done off your list. Now, again, if you guys have watched me, you know my ADD, I get overwhelmed, I get overstimulated and I can't focus. And then because I become so overwhelmed, I don't know where to start, I give up. So I'm not giving up. I'm organizing like this morning. It's trash day. I had to go get, I had to go change out the litter box. Trash comes at like 8.15, 8.30. And I woke up and I took a shower and I was like, oh, it's a great day because I was up at 6.30 and I took my time. Look on my phone and it's my alarm going off at 8 o'clock. And I'm like, oh, crap. So I'm like running through. I go in there and this is how my ADD mind goes. And this is how my business is sometimes. So I go in there and I'm changing the litter and I'm like, oh, I really need to vacuum. We have all tiles. Because her litter has gotten outside, even though I have a mat. And I'm like, okay, well, I got to change out the litter box. But I got to go get a trash bag. Well, let me go grab the vacuum on the way back. So I'm vacuuming my my pile on my floor all the way back to the litter box. And I put it down there. I'm changing out the litter. I'm tying up the things, pushing it up. And then I'm re-vacuuming around for anything that I had fall. Had to make sure she had water. I had to make sure she had food. Started walking back. Forgot the vacuum. Walked outside. Dropped off the trash. And it wasn't even two minutes later that the trash men were coming. Thank God it didn't have to sit in the trash until Wednesday. Ooh, outside, that would have been nasty. Um, and then I come back inside and I'm like, where's the vacuum? Back in there. So I have to backtrack. So for me and my ADD mind, if I can do the path least, um, like path least followed, I don't know. Like I want to only have to go into one area one time. <laughs> I should take the vacuum with me and put it by the front door. So after I walk back in, but that's beside the point. I went back in there. I made sure everything else was done. I turned off the light. I vacuumed down the hallway, vacuumed the living room, vacuumed the kitchen. And I realized I had laundry in there from yesterday. Because I'm still behind on things. I had to get my laundry done. My husband needs to use the washer and dryer today because he's got to get his clothes ready for this next week. He made sure his laundry was done before I got back last Saturday. And I have not, like, so this is all nonsense. But this is how my mind processes. 
is that I do one thing until the next thing and then I do this thing until the next thing and I do this thing until the next thing and I keep going. But where's my sin seat? Took me a moment and I realized I hadn't made a video. I hadn't posted. I did post about the friends. Then you feel behind. Then you feel overwhelmed. Then you feel frustrated. You feel defeated. You feel, why am I still doing this? And then you realize you do this because you love it. You do it because it makes you happy. And that's the reason to keep doing it. If this doesn't bring you joy, then take a step back. But if you have a team, you're trying to build something, you got to take the you got to take the bruises. You got to take the um, the hard times. I know it feels like I was putting out fires yesterday all day long, but the things needed to get done, and I was behind. So I have to catch up. So I'm getting you guys a video today because I figured that my life and my chaoticness. Um, I did mop. So oh, so yeah, get the laundry done. And I take it back to my bedroom. I go ahead and I get my extra waters because I know I'm going to be in here my, for a while in my office because I got to do homework because I have stuff to do tomorrow. Like tomorrow night, I got to get the stuff done. So I got my water in here. I got my phone in here. Um, I have my notes of what I need to do. I have my calendar. I have my alarm set. I have everything done. I had to mop too. And then I made sure on my way back. And guys, I got everything done. And I'm taking my time. I'm going to get this video done. Just remember, you have to make sure that you have your priorities, your non-negotiables. And then everything else will work out. No one got upset yesterday. I mean, I know that, um, I don't want to call her name out, but I know that she was upset I wasn't able to Zoom um, because we are supposed to be on the go. And we're trying to move through and kind of rebuild our business and rebuild our teams and we're going to, that way we have someone that we can do together. And I probably really disappointed her. I sent her a couple of messages to let her know it's on my calendar for next week. We can do it Friday. I promise. It's on my calendar. I, I can't even, I can't even apologize enough because I know the disappointment is real. Because I know how I feel when someone misses an appointment. But all I can do is try and be better. All I can do is try and get everything done to next Friday. I don't have as much on my plate. And that's all you can do with your customers is that you can try your best. You can do the best that you can. There's going to be some people that you will never make happy. There'll be other ones that are so understandable. And she's quite understandable. Like, don't get me wrong. This is not one that is, she's not going to blow up on me. She's very understandable. But I know I probably disappointed her. And I hate disappointing people. Because I hate feeling like I didn't do my best because that's the perfectionist in me. That's the one that strives to do the best all the time. And it, it, when you fall short, you feel like a failure. But it's actually more for me a reality check. It's more for me being like, why am I taking on so much? Because I know I have to stay busy. If I stay busy, it's like um, an object in motion will stay in motion, an, omni an object with the object with no motion will stay with no motion. You got to keep going so I can keep going. But that's just how my brain works. Random stuff. I can't remember if I, it was Newton's law or Murphy's law. I don't know. No, I think Murphy's law is that anything that can and will, will happen will happen. And if it could, it would. <laughs> oh, there's so many things up in my head. So that is like, I don't really even have my goal set up for Sensi right now. I am playing catch up. I am getting. Through. I'm doing the bare minimum until I can get my footing back. I have some projects that have to get done. I have a midterm. I have to retake because I failed it. And it was a definite fail. It was a 52. So I got to get that done, but I got to practice. I got to study. Um, I got to keep moving. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your business. But understand you have to know what your priorities are. You have to know what part balances. Guys, my life's a little bit easier because I don't have littles. I don't have kids at the house. I don't have anybody other than myself and my husband to worry about. And have to, and honestly, I don't have to worry about my husband very much. He goes to work. You know, the, I think our biggest dis discussion or even um, decisions that we have to make is what do we want for dinner? <laughs> Am I pulling something out? Are we making something? Are we picking something up? 
Are we having something delivered? Are we doing leftovers? I've made my life simple because I deserve it. <laughs> I know it just boils it down as just because I deserve it. So I have other things I need to get done. So I am going to leave you with this, is that prioritize your life. Figure out what your non-negotiables are. Start putting things in order of what can be moved, what can't be moved, what you have to put, and figure out a way to remember it. I love you all. I hope you have a blessed Saturday. And I promise I will try and get, I promise I'll try. See? <laughs> I'm, I will try to get another training out before Tuesday, but we do have a podcast. We do have a guest coming out on Tuesday. Um, so make sure that you are following me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you always get the updates of when I finally get videos uploaded. I appreciate for all the support. Uh, I appreciate for y'all picking me up on the days when I'm down, and I hope I do the same for you. I love you all. Just know that you are strong, you are important, and you can do this business. You just have to find your spot, find your niche, find your true love, and you will be able to blossom in this business. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon.